All righty. Welcome, folks. Great to be with Let's you all. Get everything that I'm meant to be doing here on here I am. I'm Sandy O from Emma's Revolution. And, you know, usually right here is Pat Humphrey. But today, <laughs> here she is. Here she comes. Bam. Everybody. Pat Humphreys. We don't hear you, Pat. <laughs> Unmute yourself. Oh, I, okay. So we are so thrilled that you joined Turn us up. here on the first Sunday of August. Um, August is an awesome month. August is a summer month. And so we're glad that you joined us here for a special guest um, session with us. We've been doing these Learn a Song Emma's Revolution and Friends for a year and a half now, always in the same room, Pat and I. But Pat, how you doing over there? I'm doing all right. We still I'm, can't I, hear you. Why can't we hear you? Okay. I don't know why. My we'll mic is on. work that one out. That's can you not hear me at all? We heard you in the tech. Yeah, you we do. I can hear you. We we'll hear out. Pat. We do hear Pat. It's, so you can't it's you, hear me. It's you, Sam. No, Sam, do you sound? Hear you. Oh, bummer. We had our tech session. Oh, maybe oh, maybe I don't hear you. <laughs> yes, there you are. Yeah, I can hear Pat as well. Thank yeah. you, folks. I had to like, deal with sound on both sides, but you were getting Pat the whole time. Hi, Pat. Sorry about that. Hi, that's OK. Yeah, I'm out at the end of Long Island with my girlfriend's family, uh, but I'm delighted to be with you all here today and especially delighted to be able to introduce uh, our friend Jean. Um, she's, uh, I have always been uh, so amazed and so impressed by uh, Jean's songwriting and performing and I feel a, a little bit like, um, She's been part of a music circle in Brooklyn that, um, that we've been connected to for, for many, many years. So it's been beautiful to see Jean emerge uh, from that place. Uh, she will, I'm, no, I'm, I'm having to read some of these, uh, some of these details. Her uh, latest record called Sisterly, um, was produced by her longtime collaborator, uh, Liam Robinson, uh, Robinson has um, garnered lots of uh, amazing praise among them, the best contemporary, adult contemporary album of, uh, at the Independent Music Awards in 2019. Um, we already knew that, uh, that she was great, but it's great to uh, know that other people have been recognizing her incredible writing. And she's gonna uh, share with us actually a song that she's probably best known for uh, her video single uh, national anthem, Arise, Arise. And um, certainly um, one of our favorites, and you, some of us, some of you have heard us, uh, Sandy and I, sing that song before because we love that. Um, her, she has a, another co-write that she did with uh, Liam Robinson uh, that um, was included on the the Broadway musical Hades Town uh, cast holiday album, which is uh, also very exciting, and it was uh, hailed by Elmore Magazine as enchanting and remarkable in so many ways. I think of no comparison. Uh, we would certainly agree. And um, she's got a number of things coming up. You will learn more uh, about her, I imagine, as um, we go through the process of learning this beautiful song. But uh, please help us in welcoming our uh, friend and fellow songwriter, uh, Jean Rowe. Oh, shucks. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pat and Sandy. I'm so happy to be here with all of you. Thanks for coming. Yeah, August. And uh, I was getting kind of choked up. I've been a, um, gosh, I've known Pat's work for a really long time and have many fond um, memories over the years of watching Emma's Revolution and and like hearing music come back around to me through other people, which is like all you ever want for music to do is to like travel and have its own life. So um, thank you to both of you for getting us singing wherever we are um, apart and together. <laughs> um, and today is going to be one of those days um, where we get to sing. Uh, apart and together. <laughs> um, yeah, and so I'm excited to share this song with everybody today. Um, what do you suggest we do? Should I, shall I launch into playing it or um, talking about yeah. it? I see that Marcy is 
letting us know that chords and lyrics are um, available at this link here in the yeah, chat. Let, let me pop myself back. I forgot to do all the intro stuff because I was busy doing tech stuff that other people are usually wonderfully able to handle. But let me just uh, say that for folks who are joining us on Facebook, we're glad you're here. For folks who are joining us on Zoom, we're glad you're here. And we've got a wonderful tech team who are putting links into the chat and into the comments on both of those places. And at the top of your post on Facebook, there's a link that you can click to go to our website and you can download a beautiful um, collection of the lyrics that, that Jean sent us along with the chords so that you can play along on whatever instrument you would like to play along with today. Yeah, and usually what we do, Jean, is uh, is we have you go through the song first, and then you can sort of break it down and um, teach us the the melody. If there are harmony things that um, that you've established that you that you would like to share, um, we're always happy to hear those. And then also um, there are some instrumentalists among us that that like to follow along with their instruments too. So I'm sure they would love to see the chords as well. And we'd love to awesome. hear about your process, why you wrote it, what the song Absolutely. is, the life of the song for you. So Great. Yeah. All of that. Take it I'm away. I'm happy to share. Why don't I start by playing this song? So this song, um, I, I can say more about it later, but it's called National Anthem, Arise, Arise. And um, it was conceived uh, in response to a prompt from a radio show on National Public Radio called Studio 360 around the occasion of the 4th of July one year. And uh, the prompt was, um, listeners, why don't you write a version of the national anthem for the United States that is singable? Um, <laughs> so I took that in a really holistic sense because it's hard to sing a song about the War of 1812, which is the inspiration for our current uh, national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. And um, gosh, it got me thinking about the things that um, I feel energized by as an American person in our history. Um, and it's a, it's a bittersweet story of um, the struggle of people who gave a lot to, uh, gave their lives to make sure that um, we can live up to the ideals that we say we were founded on. So that's where this comes from. Um, it's a song about the future that we get to make together. Atlantic and Pacific flow The Great Lakes and the Gulf of Mexico
justice flows like a mighty stream. Arise, arise, I see the future in your eyes. You are more perfect in than we aspire and lift our voices from the fire. So that's the tune. <laughs> and maybe you heard a little bit of the chiming from the Catholic Church down the road, just sort of adds to the feeling. I think I heard or felt some of you singing, which makes it feel so much more real to me than me sitting alone at home um, singing by myself. Um, yeah, so let's see, I wrote that song in 20. 10 i think and uh recorded it maybe like a year and change after that um there's a video out that pat mentioned earlier of um, me performing it at judson memorial church with a brass ensemble and a choir of people including some children who are now applying to college so <laughs> that just puts things in perspective of like big time and uh uh i guess i think about the way that um these struggles just go on and and the song reveals itself to me in new ways in each moment. Um, one thing I just want to point out, if you have seen the video or you haven't and you want to look at it later, um, the words in the second verse are different from the words I just sang. And, um, you know, as uh, as time goes on um, and songs reveal themselves themselves in new ways, sometimes uh, they need to change. And um, so that's just something uh, that uh, you'll notice if you're, I don't know, if you're spending time with this tune and going back, um, those are the new words I just sang and they should be the words that you have um, if you downloaded the, the lyrics or the, the lyrics that are in the chat. Um, so, and let's see, speaking of the chat, I'm always so far behind, uh, but let's see, yes, we're getting some more links. And uh, yeah, and yes, David is mentioning some of these references to right Woody Guthrie's E. Portis and Strange Fruit, and um, yeah, and some lines that that I think of as coming from Dr. King, but they're um, you know uh, lines that come from the from mm, like Christian Christian iconography of a certain kind, I guess. Um, all right, I think that we should start with a chorus. How does that sound? That's always a very good place to start, huh? Um, let's see, can you see my hands here? So this is a capo free uh, zone <laughs> today. Um, but uh, so I'm playing this capo list. If you find that you like to sing this in a different key that feels better in your voice, um, you can grab a capo or um, I don't know, we can get in touch and find some ways to transpose. Some of you might be playing a piano or a ukulele. Um, right now I'm playing this guitar, so I'll be talking from guitar perspective. Um, so this song is in the key of C, but the chorus starts on an F chord. And it goes arise, F to C, arise. Um, I see the future in your eyes, right? So we're just going back and forth from F to C and back to F. So let's do that much. We start here. Get my hand a little more in the frame here. Arise, arise, see. I see, 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 F. <laughs> and then we grab a little E minor to a more perfect union. Back to F. We aspire. That's an A minor. So that line goes to a more E minor. F A minor. It's a really 
quick little F moment there. Um, and then we're back to F, C, F. And lift, uh, sorry, C, and lift our voices, F and C. So it's a lot of, it's a lot of Fs and Cs in there with a little kind of minor departure. I'll do that again. Um, I hope I'm not going too fast. Please like slow me down if, um, if you want me to slow down. Um, arise, arise, and see, and see, 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 and here comes the E minor, E minor, F, F, and A minor, and C, C, F, and C. <laughs> um, while we're here, I'll just say one thing about this tune is that um, I did not realize this or intend it when I was writing, but it switches a lot um, for, through different meters. Um, it's not in 4-4. Four, four. I don't want to bog you down with weird musical lingo that means nothing except how a thing gets notated or talked about. Um, but if you feel at moments as we're doing this slowly that you're a little turned around, it's okay. I think um, the 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 phrases, the singing phrases, have their own kind of like logic to them that can get a little bit weird when you start to play it slowly. So, hang in there. Um, uh, should I slow the singing down a little bit too? Maybe we can do a little call and response singing on this part too. And for those of you grabbing the chords with me. Um, You'll see my hand here if that's helpful in the meantime. So um, I'll sing the first line to you. It goes, Arise, arise. Try it. Arise, arise. I see the future in your eyes. Try that. I see the future in your eyes. Cool. To a more perfect union we aspire To a more perfect union we aspire And lift our voices from the fire Try that much? And lift our voices from the fire Yeah, let's take it from the top of the chorus together Grab that F chord, here it comes <laughs> I see the future. I see the future in your eyes. To a more perfect union. To a more perfect union. We aspire and lift our voices from the fire. Feeling cool with that, everybody? All right. Should we sing it through one more time, singing that melody? Let's let's grab that much and see see how we're feeling about it. Let's see. Are people eager? I'm gonna I'm gonna go to gallery view here for myself so I can see you all a little better. Oh, this is great. Hi. <laughs> Why didn't I do that long ago? <laughs> um, are folks eager to try to learn a harmony part to this that might be a little bit lower to sing? We have some eager harmony singers. Great. Wow, it's great seeing some familiar faces here. Hey. <laughs> Larry, I haven't seen you in a long time, and my Aunt Ra, who I just called today. This is great. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, so here we are in, in Arise, Arise for, for the higher voiced folks. That's the highest part of the song. Sorry about that. Um, here's a little, a, a little, let's call it an alto part that we can try. So this one moves a little more at the beginning. It goes, Arise, Arise. Try that. Arise, arise. Uh, arise, arise. Yeah. I 
Try that all of that part. Arise, arise, arise. I see, uh, I see that. I'm a person who sings harmony really naturally, but it's hard to do when there's no melody happening. Arise, arise. I see the future in your eyes. Or I see the future in your To a more perfect union we aspire. Try that. To a more perfect union we aspire. And lift our voices from the fire. Or you could sing. And lift our voices from the fire. go all the way down there um harmony singers are nodding at me <laughs> let's try taking that from the top and i'll try to do exactly what i just did <laughs> arise, arise, i see the future in your eyes to a more perfect union we aspire Try, try singing that with me. I'll sing the melody this time, and if you wanted to hop on the melody, if you want to sing that harmony, if you want to make something up, it's a free country. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Arise, Verses. How's that sound? Um, great. So uh, why don't we do the same thing? Call and response on the verses, and um, and then I'll come back for the chords. How about that? We'll stay in singing mode for the time being. So the first verse goes: Atlantic and Pacific flow. You try it. Here we go. Atlantic and Pacific flow. So I could see you singing and responding. Um, what's a little funny about the verse is the way that maybe the lines connect one to the next. Um, so uh, maybe I'll double them up this time. I'll sing two lines in a row and you can sing them back to me. Um, how's that feel? Let's do that. So it'll be like so. Atlantic and Pacific flow. Great Lakes and the Gulf of Mexico. So let's do that much. Atlantic and Pacific flow. He two, three, here we go. Atlantic and Pacific flow. Two, three. The Great Lakes and the Gulf of Mexico. Two, three. I'll keep singing. The land between sustains us. That one comes a little quicker. The land between. Here we go. The land between sustains us all to cherish it, our tireless call. Yeah? Cool. Cool, 
cool. I'm glad to see there's a fiddle in the frame now. We're just, we're off to the races. <laughs> um, I'm going to put it all together and you can join with me. And I'll also just say another weird thing about this is um, the words are kind of laid out in such a way that the phrasing is a bit conversational, um, which makes it tricky for everybody to do exactly in unison. But I think that um, there's something really beautiful about the verses being able to have this free conversational quality. So if you feel yourself wanting to sing things in your own rhythmic style, I encourage that. Um, or, or you can just really cleave, hew, what's the phrase? You can really stick with what I'm doing and um, that's, that's cool too. But just to say it's, it's a little, it's not, in the pocket, as we jazz people like to say sometimes. <laughs> so here we go, Atlantic and Pacific flow. One, two, three. Atlantic and Pacific flow. The Great Lakes and the Gulf of Mexico. And they wait. The land between sustains us all. Um, are we feeling okay about that? Shall I show you some chords in that part? Um, so the, the verse also starts on the four chord on an F chord. Um, so we've got, uh, at F, is this in the frame? I'm going to, I'm going to move my hand a little. Here we go. Uh, at F. F, F, C, two, three, four, C, 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 and G, two, three. And then the same thing again, back to F. And F, and F, and F, and C, 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 and F, and C. So it kind of has this in common with the, cor it, with the chorus that there's a lot of F's and C's in the, on either end of the, of the section. And there's one line, that third line in the, um, well, no, that's not true what I was gonna say. It's the second line has a G chord in it in the verses. So I'll do that again for you. Um, from the beginning of the verse, it's F, F, F and C. Together and I'll sing the words this time. You'll have the chords in front of you. Here we go. Atlantic and Pacific flow. The Great Lakes and the Gulf of Mexico. The land between sustains us all to cherish it, our tireless call. Arise. doing my Pete Seeger like call out the next line thing even though I'm like wait they're probably looking at the words right now it's ah oh, man it's those old habits die hard you know but uh, it, it makes me feel like we're actually together in the real world a little bit let's just say that I think that's an <laughs> awesome habit and then if we got folks watching on Facebook they might not have had a chance to download so shout them out shout out the <laughs> lyrics Thanks, Sandy. I like that yes and um, feeling. Um, cool. So we have a verse about the the geographic and um, let's see the natural landforms that boundary this this these artificially bordered places 
um, that we call the United States of America. So that's verse one. Um, and the second verse is about the people uh, on the land and who who we are. Um, so the next part, um, maybe you should just try singing it along with me because now you have the melody in your mind and if things are confusing, uh, just flag me down. Um, I'll sing this and then I'll go look at the comments because I've been a little bit away from the chat. Um, so let's see. Um, this verse starts, we're native people here before and we wait. We're migrants from a distant shore and we wait. We came by force, we came by will, the auction block. feeling about sorry to cut you all off how are we feeling about that verse the second verse we got the people the people part of things let me let me just take a quick you changed it from the version i knew oh yeah i was saying that earlier maybe you didn't hear me but yes it is undergone a change and i can talk about that for a second if you're interested um yep 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 so um looking at uh Gosh, I wrote this song a long time ago, as I said, in the intervening years, um, you know, I've gotten feedback on this song, uh, everything from like, where are the veterans to where are the queer people to where's the, I don't know, pe people have things that they feel should be specifically addressed in this song. And I've always said, you should write that verse if you want it in the song. I am done writing this song. Um, but one thing that was brought up to me um, by uh, actually a friend of mine, first a friend of mine who was out at Standing Rock um, was that they had taught the song to a group of people there. And those folks had felt and rightly so, that Native people's stories were erased from the song by the previous version of the second verse, which used to say, we reached these shores from many lands, we came with hungry hearts and hands, some came by force and some by will at the auction block or the darkened mill. But it really seemed to um, say that people who there were no people here. We came from other places. And while there's a convoluted story one could tell in one's mind about people migrating over a land bridge from Asia and yada, 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 which is all, you know, part of the archaeological record. Um, I spent a lot of time doing learning on this, actually, for the two lines of this song. I um, uh, just really wanted to understand if I was like, doing something truly, truly um, uh, misrepresenting history in a way that I did not want to. And um, just thinking about how a lot of um, Native people's stories about their arrival in this land has nothing to do with coming over a land bridge, but it's, you know, emerging from a log or being carried on the back of an animal or um, just so many um, um, origin stories that uh, are specifically tied to the land. Um, and I just thought, okay, I have to, I had, this isn't a situation where someone else can write that verse. I have to make this right. So um, that's where those two new lines came from. And uh, <laughs> spent a long time this pandemic year playing with them. You guys, I'm just saying, I have a, I have a real, um, I can just get really weird about songwriting. It can take a really long time, like over a decade. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's what that's about. If you were curious, that's how I arrived there. Um, cool. Shall we head on to verse three? Great. We'll head to verse three. Um, 
We died in your fields and your factories. Strange fruit hang in from the poplar trees. With an old coat hanger in a room somewhere, a trail of tears, an electric chair. We died in your fields and your factories. Strange fruit hanging from the poplar trees. With an old coat hanging in a room somewhere, a trail of tears and electric chair. That one's quite a mouthful. We can try that one more time. How about, yeah? Here we go. We died in your fields and your factories. Strange fruit hanging from the poplar trees. With an old coat hanging in a room somewhere. A trail of tears and electric chair. first I often sing kind of just in my own sort of rolling pace like I said I encourage you to do the same too um, this is kind of a performance note about how I like to think about singing in general which is that um, you know there are places where I really want my singing to feel really like rhythmic and pockety meaning just like really in a rhythmic groove that's you know, cruising along with the song. Um, and this is a song where I feel like sometimes it's easier to communicate the lyrics when I'm just kind of rhythmically floating a little bit. Um, you might have noticed too that I'm sometimes I'm singing the melody a little bit differently and you're welcome to do that too. Um, our great responsibility or our great responsibility sometimes feels like responsibility gets this kind of awkward choppiness about it if it's too like melodic so um yeah just to say feel free to communicate with these words um you know whatever that means to you um there's no wrong way to to sing it <laughs> Um, but here's what here's how I do it. Uh, let's try that last verse one more time. Two, three, our great responsibility. Our great responsibility to be guardians of our liberty. Two, three. Till tyrants bow to the people's dream and justice flow. people feeling out there in TV land <laughs> uh, just checking out the chat again trying to trying use so to... many lovely comments on Facebook as well just to give you a shout out um, Nancy said such a glorious correction Jean and I think she was resp responding to why you decided to go ahead with that revision and we're hearing from Anne that they sang your song this morning um, oh. I think at uh, ethical culture in New York. I think as I saw it roll by and, and Bob from Massachusetts was saying Boston Workers Circle. 
sing Swimming to the Other Side in their high holiday services and Arise Arise in the same service. So what? So cool. <laughs> We're loving the song and really appreciate hearing uh, why and, and how and who you are through it. So thank you. Thanks. Thanks for that, Sandy. And thanks, everybody. Uh, yeah, I'm... Um, what to say? I guess I write songs a lot of times to learn about um, myself and like clarify for myself my place in that world, whether it means like my relationships with people who are individuals or close to me or like <laughs> my relationship to being a citizen of a world superpower. Um, and uh, and so that's what this this song has been and continues to be or one of the this song has been one of the places where I locate that and and I I don't want to get too gushy but I do just really want to say that it's people like Emma's Revolution who have shown me that path um, and the way that music can work um, in the world that way and I don't think that that's something that um, you learn in music school necessarily <laughs> I attended music school and I learned a lot of valuable things, but um, this is a different sort of orientation. So just thank you. I'm I'm we're, we're all like helping each other up the up the path. Um, great. I would love to try playing this song down from the beginning to the end. Do we feel like we're in that spot? Um, I'm getting some thumbs up. I'm getting some fists. Hi, Aunt Sue. <laughs> Good to see you. Um, all right. Well, let's hit it. Um, fiddle, guitar, uke, singers singing melodies and uh, harmonies that I kind of half-ass taught you and that you're bringing to the table yourselves. Thank you, everybody. Um, Let's do this from the start. Well, um, let's start with the chorus just to get us in the groove and then we'll sing the verses through and we'll double up the chorus at the end. Um, I like doing that. It's a nice uh, outro to have a little kind of acapella chorus and then an, um, a nacapella chorus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a dork, what can I say? All right, here we go. National Anthem of the United States of America in, uh, I don't know, let's say 2050. Maybe we'll get around to that. <laughs> One, two, here's the chorus. Here we go. Arise, arise. I see the future in your eyes. To a more perfect
Folks, let's yeah. give love. Let's pop us up there so we can just give you some love on behalf of everybody who is here and on Facebook. That's such a gorgeous song and such a moving song. And when you were saying, I see it in your eyes, I was remembering when we performed it with Annie Patterson um, because they put it in their book, Rise Again, right? And um, yeah. And I remember singing those words. I see the future in your eyes, like at the last verse and just like looking at people and the acapella thing and made me cry every time. Um, yeah. Because it's so true. There's so much hope in the song and so much trust and belief that, that we can make it happen. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. I, I, I have had that feeling. I've... <laughs> There have been a couple of times I'm embarrassed to say where I couldn't finish singing my own song, which is like, oh. uh, then the audience has to take over, which oh. just made me cry more, you know, and it's, <laughs> it's kind of like, it's that thing though, in action, like we can't always like be there as sturdy as possible and sort of feel like the embodiment of us holding each other and like carrying me to the last line of the song. <laughs> I mean... I, I won't say I wasn't embarrassed by it, but it is that's 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 exactly what I like I I want to feel and know because I believe that it's true. Mm -hmm. We take care of each other and yeah. like all of us. Mm -hmm. You can be there as humanly as possible is what we really need. And you know, we so we see you know, <clears throat> I don't know if I can even get this out. I see the future in your eyes. Yes. Thanks. I have to yeah. say, I mean, I think as an activist, I think our, the reality of people being able to show their emotions is possibly what will actually save the planet. Because if we keep telling ourselves we can't, and if we stop, especially, you know, especially men who are, were raised more to not have to be able to show their, their emotions. Um, it really skews us. It really damages us to not be able to show our emotions. So I love that, that um, I love both of you for doing that. And for me too, I almost <laughs> didn't finish what I was saying, but I was like, I'll, I'll, I'll screw through it as they say. But um, <clears throat> I really feel like we need to uh, allow feelings and and that way we can allow when we're hurting each other's feelings and when we're lifting each other up and maybe do something about it all still mm. that's so wise sandy yeah thanks for saying that mm -hmm. this week i've been reflecting a lot on like uh <laughs> this sort of wacky debate that's happening about what kind of american history we teach um mm. and and um you know kind of what it means to not be a hero and not be like right all the time or our ancestors whatever to not be perfect like can we just not be perfect and like move on from there and from a place of honesty and and that's about that's about being able to let that in too having those ability to feel that and accept that um and grow yeah. and, and learn something grow. like like you really modeled with changing that that second verse um you know when you learn something new and it matters you do something about it so we need to that yeah you you really modeled exactly what we need to be doing with with our history you know we need to be acknowledging what we did and who we've been it's a really beautiful change in that lyric too i i have to say when you said you were going to change something i was like don't touch it 
It's a great song, <laughs> but you you really you really only made a great song greater. It's terrific. It's really really an exceptional. It's just it's such a moving and sensitive revision. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for saying that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I remember, um, you know, <laughs> lyric changes I've seen you all um, make oh, yeah. with with time and like the, making something <laughs> powerful, even more powerful and responsive, right? Useful. Mm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we grow with our songs. Yeah, yeah. Our yeah. songs grow with us. Yeah. Ain't it the truth? And that's why we do these weekly sessions. We really get to, um, well, before we were inviting guests, we got to revisit some of our songs from a long, long time ago that <laughs> yeah. we played and uh, mm -hmm. it gave us an opportunity. Um, and for bringing folks in, it's been a complete joy to, to just really get to sit with someone's song the way we did with yours today. And I love your vision that 2050, this, this will be our national. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> uh, we need things like that to move forward. Um, I want to say a quick couple things because I saw some people jumping on to Zoom because they want to give you some love up here on Zoom and, and say hello. And we um, we are gonna. I think you're good with us wrapping up a little bit, Jean, and then we'll we'll in, um, invite folks who are on Facebook. You can come up and join us on Zoom. Before we do that, um, let's just find out from you what else you have going on, Jean, and where people can find you and how they can support your work and what you got going on. Yeah, thanks. Well, one exciting thing I have going on involves all of y'all um, at the end of this month. It's the 29th of August, That's right? It. Mm -hmm. That we're reconvening to play um, some songs in the round with Sam Gleaves and um, Ellie Grace. Yeah. And that should be great. <laughs> I'm excited for that. So um, that's happening. I was supposed to go to England in September to play some so some shows and I'm not doing that for obvious reasons. Um, but maybe none of you live in England anyway, so it wouldn't it wouldn't matter. Um, well, but she maybe, means in know. Scotland, so she's the closest. So. Oh, really? Oh, cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, another time. Um, but yeah, I, you can check me my, my website. I'm always updating with stuff that I'm doing. I've been running some songwriting classes. I don't have plans for the, when the next one will be, but if you would like to get in on that, it's been really fun. Also on Zoom, um, Usually we've been like eight or nine week sessions with a small group of songwriters. So if you're a writer out there and you want to write and share with a group, um, that's uh, been a big part of this pandemic year for me and would love to have you. Um, yeah, I think that about does it. Cool. And I want to say that our fabulous tech team is going to be putting your links into the chat up here on Zoom and onto the comments on Facebook. And I forgot in my sort of thing of like, I was running some tech that I don't usually do anymore and it's sort of fried my brains. I forgot to thank them at the top of the hour, but this event really um, only goes on as wonderfully and swimmingly as it does because we have a wonderful team of tech hosts who have been volunteering every week and we just an expanded beautiful team um, today we've had Marcy and Rada on and Paula I saw there and Moria's here and Alice was here and there's one more name and Toby who's one of our tech team so those folks make it possible for us to do it and we celebrated a one-year anniversary of our tech team last month and that was oh my July. gosh I know <laughs> we're so lucky to have these really dedicated people who who um who have stepped in to help make this all work better. And so we will be, folks on Facebook Live, we will be uh, turning off the Facebook live stream, but we invite you to come and join us here on Zoom. We always do a hang on Zoom and you'll have a chance to really uh, give some love to Jean uh, in, in person as much as in person is happening right now. Um, so please do join us th with the link at the top of your post and feel free, uh, come next week. August 15th is going to be Ellie Grace leading a song of hers on the 22nd or whatever that, yeah, is that 17 or whatever it is. I can't do my dates right this second. On the 22nd, we'll be leading a song uh, of, in the Learn a Song session and then come back on the 29th for the concert with Jean and Sam and Ellie and us. So 
we will say goodbye to y'all Facebook um, live. Thanks for joining us. And we look forward to seeing you next time.